What is going on, guys? How are you all doing today on this beautiful Monday? Welcome to my update for August 5th, 2013. So, since you are watching this right now, that means that I am home. I am back from the poor, poor internet and couch-ridden TV-watching land that I call my mother's house. And, <laughs> um, yes, I am back. It is about 10.30 in the morning. I just got in about an hour ago, and I already... Literally, I got home, and I started going straight to work. I started going straight to work on uh, on renders and stuff. So, what's been going on with me in the YouTube world? Really, not a whole lot. Obviously, I haven't been here for the last three days, so there hasn't been a whole lot of recent content recently. I do owe you guys, like, three videos, so make sure you guys remind me in future videos, and I will, I will you know, give you the three videos that I owe you, since I missed three days of uploads. Anyway, so, obviously, not a whole lot's been going on recently. Um... And since I didn't have that great of internet, I've just been trying to step my editing game up with Sony Vegas, Photoshop, After Effects, and all that, all that good third-party software, don't you know? And <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. I think it's because my mother has a, a crazy old neighbor. Yeah. Anyway, so obviously not a whole lot's been going on. Um, I actually did um, like co-create my new banner. If you guys haven't checked that out already, my buddy Mark made like the. the the main design for it, he got me the template for it, it was actually pretty cool. Um, I made some like little changes that I wanted, and he was actually really cool about it. He actually helped me design the outro, you guys, the new outro you guys are going to see in this video, so make sure you guys, I don't know, I'll probably leave a link in the description somewhere for his channel. Uh, you guys can go support a, like, a very good graphics designer, and he's actually making some instrumentals, so that's actually pretty cool. I might even use an instrumental from him. Uh, in the outro song, so make sure you guys go check out, check him out, leave a sub, do all that good jazz, and uh, tell him Vito, uh, tell him Vito sent you. So uh, that's kind of what's been going on recently um, in the YouTube world, um, at least the YouTube world of the past. I'll get in the YouTube world of the future after I get done with uh, what I want to say about myself. So for those who don't know, my father is out of town, so he will be back tomorrow with my car, and. Pretty much what I did was I went to my mother's for three days because, um, you know, it's just I haven't seen her in a while. She I haven't really gone to her house recently. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. So she came and picked me up on Friday. Yeah, she came and picked me up on Friday. Um, and I stayed there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I got home this morning. So uh, she has very, very bad internet, so I wasn't able to upload. I wasn't able to live stream. I wasn't really able to play... Uh, Xbox Live at all. I really wasn't play do a whole lot. Really, I can just go on my computer. I can watch some YouTube videos, and I could uh, I can edit. So that's really what I kind of did with my time. Um, I listened to a lot of music recently. Uh, I actually listened to a lot of uh, a lot of Machine Gun Kelly recently. Um, for example, like if you guys haven't heard, uh, if you're a fan of hip a fan of hip hop and haven't heard of Machine Gun Kelly, you guys should really go check out his uh, free album or. I can't remember if it's a mixtape or if it's actually an album. Anyway, it's free. It's called Black Flag. It's it's really, really cool. He's a very, very good hip-hop artist. Like, oh my god, he's actually really, really good. Um, he actually did uh, a few songs with one of my fav new favorite artists, Tech 9 So that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, it's it's really... He's really, really cool. Um, haven't really watched a whole lot of movies recently. I did go on a little binge and watch all of the... Inuyasha movies. For those who don't know, Inuyasha is an anime that I used to watch as a kid, and what spent from like, I think 1992 to 2008, it was like 150 some episodes of the anime and like some, I don't know, a few hundred, uh, few hundred of the manga. So, I I watched that. There was four feature feature films. First two were about the love interest Inuyasha and Kagome, and uh, the third one was about Inuyasha's past with his father and his brother and uh, the third sword that his father owned, because for those who don't know, Inuyasha is about a, um, a half-demon, half-dog demon, um, Inuyasha who holds his father's uh, fang, called the Tetsaiga, um, it's the guardian of peace and an earth and all that good jazz, his brother Sashomaru is a full-fledged dog demon, um, who when their father died, was given the Tensega, the sword of heaven, which if you for some reason, when you hold the Ten Sega, you can see the quote-unquote demons of the dead and like cut them away and kill them. It's kind of ironic, but you kill them, you save the person that the demons are coming after, and then they come back to life, pretty much. Um, the third movie is pretty much all about the, the 
father's third sword called uh, the Red Saunga, which is, I don't, I don't know, it's like demon sword, something like that. Anyway, it's possessed, it can do this massive thing called the Dragon Twister that, it's like equivalent to a Cat 5 hurricane over here. <laughs> anyway, it just destroys everything in this path, and pretty much you need the Tetsaga and the Tensega to, uh, to, t to kill it, and, uh, you know. It's just like, yeah, it's, it's actually a pretty cool movie, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, the fourth one, it wasn't that good. It was pretty much just like a, something to squeeze a little bit more money out of the series. Because I think that was in like 2007 that movie was created. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting a little too, uh, a little too off topic. So, that's what's, uh, kind of been going on with me in the recreational, recreational part of my life. Anyway, so since tomorrow is Tuesday and my father is coming home with my car. That means that I'll be able to drive it, which is pretty cool. But this is not, not the end of our tale of the car and the Vito. Um, pretty much what's been going on is that my, my uncle does need a new car, and he needs it pretty cheap, pretty fast. And he doesn't really want to spend like the 22 grand to go get a new car. So what's, been, what's going to be happening essentially is that we're going to be switching cars. Uh, since his car doesn't work, actually, I'm going to be selling him my car, which is a 2006 Corolla Sport. It's a five-speed now. And what's going to be happening is I'm going to sell it to him. He's going to cover the expenses and then pay for the car. And I'm actually going to be taking my grandmother, um, the grandmother on my father's side's uh, 2000 Nissan Altima. Now, what that's going to be doing is pretty much I'm going to be keeping my grandfather's car. For those who don't know, um, if you haven't watched, like, the video I made a year back about my father having cancer, or not my father, my grandfather going through a pancreatic cancer. It was, ugh, which wasn't good. I'm not really gonna go into it. But he left me his uh, his 2006 Corolla Sport. His, uh, it was a six speed back then, and he left it in his will. He said, you know, Matthew would love to drive this, and Ma I would love Matthew to have this. Um, so I drove that for about a year, and then I'm gonna actually sell it to my uncle now. And now I'm going to take my uh, my grandmother's 2000 Nissan Altima, which is automatic. I love manual. I love the feeling of having all the power to do the speed you want when you want it. And actually, like, going through the gears. But uh, it's actually kind of weird. Whenever I'm doing my commentaries, I actually, like, go through the gears and, like, push on the clutch, put it in first, you know, all that, all that stuff. Anyway, I apologize that I'm, like, my voice is cracking. It's still 1030 in the morning, and I've already ran through this twice, and it failed twice. So, yeah, it's a it's an automatic car. I really do like it. So I'll be going up um, about no no about two or three hours west of me to go uh, to go pick up that car, and uh, it, it's really convenient because both my grandparents uh, live in the same area. So I can pretty much just make the switch, come back home, and then make more videos for you guys. So yeah, that's kind of what's been going on with me. Uh, make sure you guys leave in the comment section below. Um, oh wait, actually no. No, 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 no. I almost forgot the YouTube of the future. Anyway. <laughs> My fault. Look, you see, I haven't been doing this for three days, and I'm already, I've am already, i already lost it. My, my fault. What's been going on? What's going to be going on in the YouTube of the future? So, part one of the StarCraft II Zerg Guide, the bare bones basics, will be going up here soon. I do have the gameplay. I do have the commentary. Um, I just need to render it out, figure out when to upload it, and then it'll it'll be out there for you guys. So that's gonna be pretty good. At the time of recording, I have one or two. I have about two more infamous let's plays to render, um, and then those will periodically come out uh, throughout the month. And that's pretty much gonna be that for the let's play. Um, I don't remember exactly how many parts we were on, but pretty much. I, I'm pretty sure I already know what game I want to let's play next. There is a game that I want to let's play that comes out um, towards the end of the summer if they don't push it back again. I'm not really sure. I might just wait for that and just do like some regular videos like regular commentaries and more live comms. Um, but I might do a, a mini game in between then like a shorter game like a, maybe a PS1 game or something like that. But I really want to do a let's play of that game. I won't, I won't tell you just because uh, I want it to be a surprise. Um, but you guys might know what it is since I already told you when it's coming out. Um, but there's also another game I want to play, which I won't tell you as well. But I did get it on the Steam sale for, uh, for like $15, which is pretty dang cool. But um, yeah, so 
that's kind of what's been going on. I still have like 15 to 20 live commentaries to go through. Um, I actually have like, I have most of them rendered out. I still have about, about six or seven that I need to render out. But again, those will periodically be coming through um, throughout the month. So that's going to be what's going to be go coming out through the next few weeks. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Make sure you guys leave a like. Leave a comment below on what you guys have been doing over the last week. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.